Hello and welcome back to Something Z, and welcome to Wife Naruto at the Five Tailed Part 8. Last time on the What If, Naruto was able to beat Gara and Shukaku with the help of Kokuro. So, let's jump back into the What If. So, it's right after Naruto was able to beat Shukaku, and Gara is currently on the ground in pain. And Naruto, almost out of chakra, was still able to move, and he tells Gara to his face that he forgives him, but if he attacks his friends ever again, he will kill him without any regrets or hesitation. And with the last bit of his chakra, he walks to a nearby tree, and he lays down, and he goes to sleep, and he hangs down in the mindscape with Kokuo, and they both talk and they both talk until Naruto wakes up, and when he wakes up, he is in the hospital bed, and a day has passed, and sitting next to his bed was Kakashi, who tells him when he notices that he woke up. They were injured, but they are currently okay. Days later, they had a funeral for the third Okage, and after the funeral, the elders summoned Jiraiya, and they asked him to become the next Okage, but he declines and offers Tsunade, which they accept. And hours later, Jiraiya finds Naruto walking down the road, and he asks him to go on a trip with him, which Naruto declines at first. But after hearing he could learn some awesome jutsu, he accepts. And right before he leaves, Jiraiya tells him to tell Sakura to come if she wants, which she agrees to. And the two leave with Jiraiya. And I remembered after one of the parts that I never went to specifics about what the training Sakura did, which was she trained in taijutsu, and she learned a bit of Shao clone jutsu from Naruto. I'm staying a bit since she can't make more than two clones at a time, and they can't stay for long. So we skip to when they get to the next town. Dryad gives them the keys to a hotel room that they will be staying at. And after an hour of them just hanging out in the room, they hear a knock on the door. And when they open the door, they see two people in black coats with red clouds on it. But what Naruto noticed the most was the fact that the guy right in front of him had red eyes that looked like Sasuke's. And right after saying this, he turns on KCM and he launches himself and tries to go for a punch. But Tachi was able to dodge in time and Naruto wasn't able to stop so his fist is currently in the wall of the hotel. And that's when Sasuke gets to the hotel. And when he sees Naruto's hand, he runs as quick as he can to the floor they are currently on. And when he gets to the right floor, he sees Naruto out of KCM, sends Kisame's sword sucked out the Five Tails Chakra. And he goes for a Chidori aimed at Itachi, but it was blocked by Itachi, and he flung him to a wall. And the Chidori created a hole in the wall. Naruto then quickly boils his chakra and tries to go for a punch, but Kisame was about to slam him into the ground. But before the sword hits him, a frog comes out of nowhere and it blocks the sword. Then Naruto backs up and when he turns his head and a poof of smoke appears to rise. Itachi then goes after Sasuke and grabs him by the neck and pins him to a wall. And he makes Sasuke watch the death of his clan. And Naruto seeing this boils his chakra to the point of first gate. And he rushes to Sasuke but Kasame was about to hit him. And before the sword hit him, Jiraiya summoned the stomach of a frog covering the hotel hallway. And sticking the two Akatsuki members to the wall. And Itachi seeing the best option is to escape. He uses Amaterasu where the hole was and he burned a hole through the toad's stomach and the two leave and they weren't able to be found and after they left guy came and brought sasuke back to the leaf so he skipped to win this we are in a new town and jiraiya tells the two to look around and have fun while he looked for sunata and after the confrontation sakura has been a bit sad and angry with herself because she wasn't able to help her two teammates when they needed it and seeing that sakura looked down naruto tried his best to cheer her up and eventually they found jiraiya and he was surrounded by women. But what made Naruto the maddest was the fact that he saw his wallet empty, and he started yelling at the pervy stage. And in the middle of his yelling and thrashing around, he spilled a drink on a man's suit, which made the man mad. And before Naruto fights back, Jiraiya stands in front of him, and he tells him and Sakura to pay attention. And in the middle of his hand appears a blue ball of chakra. And when it hits the man, it makes him spin like a pinwheel, and it launches him into a balloon stand that was a couple feet away. And when Jiraiya walks up to the stand owner, he says he will buy all the man's balloons and the three leaves of town, and when they are far enough, Jiraiya gives the two water balloons, and he explains that in order to learn a new jutsu that's A rank, they will, for the first step, need to pop the water balloon using only their chakra. So we skip to days and the two are still having a bit of trouble popping the balloons. In the morning of the third day, Naruto is eating breakfast with Sakura, and while he was eating, he looked down at a cat playing with a water balloon, and how it was pushing it back and forth, and he watched until the balloon eventually popped. And then he tells Sakura to pay attention to the cat. And then he throws the cat another balloon. And the cat does the same thing. And when they finish eating, they practice what they just saw. And they were, by the end of the day, able to pop the balloon with just their chakra. But it required both of them to use both of their hands. So we skip to the next day after they show Jiraiya. And they are currently at the training area. Jiraiya hands them both rubber balloons. And he tells them to pop this balloon. And this one step took them both weeks. Because they just couldn't make the balloon pop. And they had to take some days off because they burned their hands by forcing out too much chakra. And one day, 
Naruto used more chakra than he used before, and with the help of some of Kokoro's chakra, he was finally able to pop the balloon. And the next day, Sakura was able to do it with the help of Naruto. And when the two show that they can do the second step, Dry tells them the third step, which was to combine the two steps, and make it so it doesn't pop the balloon. And he tells them that it's time to go look for Tsunade, so they will have to do it on the move. And they train for the whole day, and eventually they end up at a bar for dinner. And when they enter, Dry notices a familiar looking blonde haired woman sitting on the other side of the restaurant. And when he sees her, he walks over to their table and he tells Tsunade she has been chosen to be in the next Hokage but she declines and says whoever wants to be Hokage is a fool in which Naruto gets mad and he starts to shout at her. The argument ends with Tsunade challenging him to a fight and when the fight begins Naruto boils his chakra and he creates a Rasengan to the best of his current abilities and he launches himself at Tsunade but since he's launched himself he couldn't stop himself in time when Tsunade flicks him to the ground making her the winner of the fight. Then she shouts at Drive about teaching Naruto the Rasengan and possibly teaching Sakura as well and the two make a bet, which was if Naruto or possibly Sakura could master the Rasengan, then she will give one of them her necklace that was once owned by the first Hokage. And if she's correct and they can't learn in a week, then she will just take Naruto's wallet. Naruto immediately accepts the deal to Kokoro's and Sakura's dismay. Then he immediately storms off with Sakura following after him since the deal was already made and they begin the training. So the week goes by and the two train for the whole week. But they weren't able to completely master the Rasengan. So at the last day, Naruto and Sakura find themselves in the hotel room, different from their own. And Naruto is able to recover with the help of Kokoro. And Sakura is okay because Naruto made sure she didn't completely overdo it. But she is still very drained from the training from the previous day. And when they look around, Shizune is distressed, looking out the window. When she notices them, she tells them about the deal Tsunade made with Orochimaru. And when she starts to leave, a kunai almost hits her. And when she looks to see where the kunai came from, she sees the dry who was drugged by Tsunade when they had some drinks the previous night. And she tells them to follow her to the location where the trade will take place. And when they get there, they see Kabuto and Tsunade fight and Orochimaru is a good distance away from them, like around 10 feet away. Seeing this, Dryad tells him to go after Kabuto while he goes for Orochimaru. And Naruto hearing this, he boils his chakra to the point of third gate and he launches himself at Kabuto, hitting him in the gut, launching him a couple feet away from Tsunade. And Kabuto, when he gets back up, runs to Orochimaru, and using some of his own blood, he uses a summoning seal on Orochimaru. And when the smoke clears, there is a twin-headed snake. Seeing this, Naruto tries to do a summoning, but what he summoned was a small toad named Gamakichi. Sakura seeing this, tries to go for a summoning as well, but she has the same results from her lack of chakra, so she summons Gamatatsu. Naruto then tells Sakura to protect Tsunade, then he goes into KCM and he jumps at one of the snake heads and punches it in the snout with one giant chakra fist, launching the snake into the air. And seeing this as a perfect distraction, Kabuto starts to run at Tsunade, and when he gets to her, Sakura is standing in front of her, which after a bit of fighting, Kabuto knocks her to the ground, and he believes that she is out of the fight, so he tries to stab Tsunade with a kunai, but it gets stopped by Sakura grabbing onto the blade of the kunai. Then she makes a shadow clone to make up for her busy hand, and she creates a Rasengan, hitting Kabuto in the stomach, and it spins him and launches him a couple of feet away. But in exchange of launching him using the Rasengan, Kabuto was able to hit the muscles around Sakura's heart, causing her to start to die, which Tsunade was able to save her, so she's not dying, but she is unconscious, and she gives the necklace to Sakura. And while this was going on, Naruto was fighting a snake, and while Naruto was punching the snake, Orochimaru was trying his best to kill Naruto, but because of Naruto's speed, he was able to dodge the attack that would be vital but he has been hit multiple times. Then for the first time in the fight, he notices that Kabuto wasn't there. So he looks around and he sees Sakura unconscious on the ground with Tsunade right next to him. So he makes the Shadow Clone to take his place, and he runs to Sakura. He asks what happened, and when he hears the story, he asks why didn't she do anything. She apologizes, but then she says she'll make it up to the two of them. Then she uses the seal on her forehead. Then she summons Katsuyu. And seeing her summon Katsuyu, the other Sunning summon Manda and Kamabunta. And after Jiraiya's order to stand down, Naruto undoes the clone, and he stays by Sakura's side. And the signing fight on the summits, and eventually Orochimaru and Kabuto run. So we skip to the next two days, and when Sakura woke up for the first time, and a full day of resting, they leave the town, and they go to the Hidden Leaf so Tsunade can claim her title as the next Hokage. And just to be clear, Naruto knows how to do the Rasengan, after he asked Sakura on their way back how she did it herself. So we skip a few days into the future, and Naruto and Sakura are in Sasuke's hospital room. And out of nowhere, Sasuke lashes out at Naruto for getting so much stronger than him, because before, they were at least close to equals. But now Naruto is on such a new level. 
and after hearing the story of what happened while he was here, he is also mad that Sokka could have gone stronger than him now as well. So he challenges Naruto to a fight, which he accepts. So they go to the roof of the hospital, and they fight. It was a close fight until they went for one final clash, and that's when Naruto stopped holding back, because before he was only boiling Sokka to the point of second gate. But after he sees the Chidori, he turns on KCM, showing it to Sasuke for the first time, and they launch at each other. But before their attacks collide, Kakashi was able to grab their arms and launch them into water towers, breaking both water tanks. So he skips to the next night, and Sasuke gets visited by the Sound 4, and after some fighting, he eventually agrees to go along with them. But on his way to the exit, he walks past Sakura, who knows what's going on to some degree, and she pleads with him to stay, saying that her and Naruto could help his revenge, and that she loves him, but it doesn't work, and Sasuke got behind her and knocked her out, and then he leaves the village. And when some shinobi finds Sakura knocked down on the bench, they wake her up, and she tells them about Sasuke's betrayal, and the same things happen in the same group is at the gate, but right before they leave, Sakura asks Jigamaru to bring her with them, since they're already more than the average squad, which after a bit of convincing, he agrees to it, and they leave. All the fights will be the same until the fight between Naruto and Kimimaru. So now, when the bone guy got in their way, Sakura said she could handle it, and she told Naruto to continue the mission, so he continues running. And now at the final stretch, he turns on KCM, and he boils his chakra. And when he finally gets to Sasuke, they were both at the Valley of the End. And instead of starting the battle in his normal form, Sasuke goes full curse mark mode. And the two fight, with Sasuke able to avoid a decent chunk of Naruto's attacks. I would've hurt him with the help of the Sharingan, but after a bit of fighting, Sasuke was able to get one Chidori hit on Naruto, piercing his heart. In the emotions he got from thinking his friend is dead, he unlocked the Sertomo Sharingan, and he started to walk away. But Naruto was able to heal from the wound, and he and Sasuke continued the fight, with them not holding back. So we skip a couple minutes, and both of them are tired and injured from each other, and they both launch themselves to different sides of the valley, and they decide to go for one final collide. And for the first time, Naruto was using the perfect Rasengan against someone. And when the attacks collide, it creates a huge explosion. But when everything is done, both of them are knocked out, since it took a lot of chakra for Naruto to stay in KCM for so long and heal a wound and to actually fight. And Sasuke is knocked out because he got hit straight on by the attack of a big ball Rasengan, since Naruto was not holding back. And neither of them were able to wake up before Kakashi got there, and he got them both and brought them back to the hidden leaf, leaving the mission as a success. And a week after the mission, Sasuke was imprisoned since he is still technically a rogue shinobi. And a while after that, Naruto was asked if he wanted to go on a three year journey with Jiraiya, which he agrees to, since he's got to get stronger so nothing like this happens again. But after he accepts, he asks what will happen to Sakura, so Jiraiya tells him that Sakura was asked to be Tsunade's people, which she accepted. And days later, Naruto and Jiraiya left for the three year journey, leading them to the plot of Shippuden. And that's where I'm going to leave the what if. I hope you enjoyed this entire series. It's been a lot of fun doing this what if, and I hope to see you next time on something Z.